What if I told you that three nights ago I died? Let's start from the beginning. This city is a ghost of its former self. Overrun by crime and poverty. Ruled by an organization that uses pain and fear to control. I made a stand against them and it cost me my life. But there was something waiting for me on the other side. And in that moment I knew that this world would never be the same. Plan on giving me a hand? Hey, this is why we don't take calls in Sparta Town, ain't it? We out here for five seconds and everybody, we already popular, eh? Everybody looking. Get to tell me down, though, eh? I thought you Latinos were hard. Fiery and all that. Yeah, we hard. Fiery in the bedroom, not in a crack alley full of bandidos. Cut this shit and back me up, okay? I got you, boss. Take it easy. Grab my kit. Barely breathing. We gotta move him now. Okay, I gotta get the gurney. You got it? I got it, I got it. Damn. Hey, woohoo! First to Nina. You want some private time or you wanna get him out of here? <laughs> <laughs> He's lost a lot of blood. I'm gonna start a morphine IV drip. Hey, how we doing back there, eh? There's no rush. He's gone. to spare your life. I swear I didn't do this. I swear I didn't do this. It's these fucking guys. These fucking guys robbed me. Please, I tried to fight them. There's too many. I tried to fight. Please. I ran. I ran. What was I supposed to do? There's so many of them. They have fucking guns. What was I supposed to do? I've been loyal to you. Tess, I've been loyal to you. Please give me time. Please give me time. I'll make this right. I'll make this right. Please. Please. <sighs> you lost 50 pounds of pure synth. That's gonna be worth. A million dollars, easy, right? I'll face it. 
You see, there's nothing that you can do in this world to make this right. <laughs> but find comfort in this, my brother. That in your death, you will serve as a reminder to all the others that weakness is not tolerated. Wow. Sir, it's done. He won't be causing any more trouble. Where's his body? Dumped it in the alley downtown. Made it look like a monkey. You sure he's dead? There's no mistake. Ray Lazarus is dead. Good. I've got some personal matters to attend to. Take care of this one and report back to Poet. Paradise City, is this not what I promised you or what? You know how much valuable time I've wasted waiting for you in this shithole? Nah, you wanna tell me about it? 100 pounds of scent, premium grade, just like I promised. That's good. You came through, I'm proud of you. Money first. Oh, well, you don't trust me? Alright. Yo, G! Show her the money, dude. We cool? Yeah. I'm just doing business with you. Nah, hold up. Business ain't done yet. So check this out. We're going to keep the scent and the money. What you think about that? You know who you're selling from? What it'll do to you and your boyfriends when he finds out? <laughs> yeah, well, we're stupid. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog, do me a favor, man. Grab that shit and shut this bitch up. The fuck you guys doing? Get her ass! Is it? Yeah. This is it. Hey, if you don't mind me asking Sarge, why come back? Why now? Settle the debt. I know that look. And from the sounds of it, you're gonna need some help. Myself and some of the boys from the old unit were still around, so you make that call. We got your back. Set the fire, do or die. Favor to the core. Watch your six. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. Uh, listen, I just got to doing the six year bid, and I ain't seen nothing as pretty as you in a long time. I promise I'll be gentle. Huh? <laughs> hey! Sure, whatever you're looking for, you can find somewhere else. Just, just leave it alone, guys. Let it go.
You know, you look like you had a fucked up night already, Playboy. You know, I think it'd be in your best interest to go in and get the fuck up out of here. Oh, don't worry about her. We gonna take good care of her, I promise. Let's go, son. <laughs> I can't let you do that. You deaf motherfucker, huh? I said get the fuck up out of here before I turn that pretty mug of yours inside out. Yeah, he's fucking deaf. No, he's not deaf. He's crazy. Straight out the VA hospital. My boy said to take off. If you're alive, let alone awake. This is my place. I couldn't just leave you back in that alley after what you did. What I did. I remember killing three people. You saved my life. Those assholes were gonna rape me and throw me in a dumpster, so fuck them. They got what they deserved. You normally bring strangers back to your apartment in the middle of the night and strip them? <laughs> Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Yeah, I couldn't just leave you back there for the cops to find. Black man lying next to three bodies in this neighborhood. They wouldn't even stop to ask questions. <sighs> well, I'm all right. How's that even possible? This is not right. Look, I'm gonna go get something out the kitchen. Just stay put. She can't hear you, or see you for that matter. Excuse the intrusive theatrics, they're a necessary evil, I'm afraid. Who are you? Hello, Ray. Hellborn, at your service. You and I have a great deal to discuss, my friend. How'd you get in here? Who sent you? And what the hell did you do to her? Well, she, as you can see, is completely unharmed. And the question isn't who sent me, Ray. The question is, how are you still alive? Now I know the recollection of tonight's events may be a little dicey. I mean, only hours ago you were dead. Losing one's memory is a temporary side effect to the awakening. It will pass. The fuck are you talking about? You think you could just appear in here and just sell me some bullshit? So if you know who I am, then you know what I can do to you, right? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Attempting to hurt me, you'll only hurt yourself, Ray. What did you do to me? I gave you new life and your godlike power. You're giving me a curse. You should be thanking me right now, not feeling sorry for yourself. You have no idea what you've become. Those men you killed tonight. When you took their lives, what did you feel? 
confused at first. Then everything started becoming clear. I wanted to stop, but I, I, I couldn't. That thing inside of you needs to kill. It's how you stay alive. You take their energy, their life force. You absorb their memories, intelligence, fighting skills. Everything they wear, you will become. You'll have the ability to heal within minutes. Your muscles will be stronger, your reflexes faster. Why did you choose me? I didn't. I'm merely a guide, an overseer to aid you in your quest. Which is? To become the beast that feeds in the hearts of evil men. You don't have to come visit me anymore. I can see it causes you pain. The nurse is treating you well enough. Yeah, they're fine. Not much for conversation, but they take excellent care of me. Okay. You know, it is important to me that you are as comfortable as possible. I have the best medical minds around the country working on this. We will find you a cure for this. A cure, brother. You must you torture yourself? False hopes of a world made whole. This world are we live happily ever after. Don't be like that, Pissar. Not after all this time. There is always a way. Just gonna take a little time, that's all. And in that time, you will come to accept the truth as I have. What I've accepted is that I am going to die. And you will be all alone. Truly sorry. <laughs> yes, my dear sister. I will never accept. I love what you've done to the place. I must have broken in. Trying to make my death look like a robbery. You're not the only one they've heard, Ray. There are hundreds more who have suffered. And until now, there hasn't been a being powerful enough to stop them. This is why we brought you back. How do I find the men that did this to me? Well, that is a question whose answer you already know. There's a warehouse on 87. They use it to manufacture synth, distribute to their key runners. One of those guys worked there and gave them access to where deals will go down. They were posed as buyers and rob low level runners. Sell the product on their own and keep the money for themselves. I'm gonna shut it down. They think you're dead. That gives us an advantage we can build upon. I suggest concealing your identity. Is there anything in this dump that can do that? Yeah. Hell yeah.
goes out of here, Testament will have our ass if we don't finish. How many barrels? <laughs> All of them. Now that was worth the price of admission. You've truly become an artiste, my friend. Oh, don't touch me for a second. Ah, oh, I need a fucking cigarette. Did you find what you were looking for? Information. Yeah. And what did you see? A friend. Sending Gale to pick up one of my runners who ran into some trouble the other night. Maybe she's seen something. Get it done. Let's go ahead and top it off, get it back to her, right? Thanks. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ray! Thought you were dead, man. Glad to see that ain't the case. Is that what you heard? No, you just hadn't been here for a few months. I ain't like you, man. Look, I need to talk to you. Okay. Privately. Good, man. Right this way. Come on. So these people who work for you, you trust them? They wouldn't be here if I didn't. A few of them are ex-cons, but they're decent. Just men and women that uh, have families. They do right by me, so I do right by them. Got any reason to believe that any of them might be doing? But that red shit I see all over the street? Yeah. Nah. You just patched up the axle on the old bird. Anything else? Uh, if you can go ahead and mount the tires, that'd be great. I'll go in and check it out. Thank you. See, you ain't changed a bit. I'm a trendsetter. She's good for business. Yeah, I bet. Hey. Look, I, I lost a few recently. But that's just because they got a better offer than Ron Poe and his crew. What you know about him? He's in charge of sales and distribution for his organization, but he's not the big man. Somebody else is in charge, somebody smart, protected. You know who it is? 
Nobody's seen him. Why are you so interested all of a sudden? You want to get in the game? Nah, I'm just curious. Curiosity didn't bring you all the way down here. Asking me some very specific, very dangerous questions, man. Hey, I've known you for over ten years. You can't bullshit me. Don't do something that you might regret. Look, it's the best if you don't know right now, right? Look, man, I got a jet. I'll be back. Pogo, do something with your head, man. It's all over the place. Fix it up, something. I'm about to take it all the way off. You just wait and see. It's gonna be as smooth as a baby's ass dipped in buttermilk. Chicks love that. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, I know. I got some clippers in the bag, man. We'll tighten you up. Later, Pogo. What brings you by? You need to understand how a dead man can still bring me so much pain. A dead man? Did you kill him? I was a victim of circumstance. I was merely a instruments in his demise, not the cause of it, though. Demons that you create, what will you do when they come knocking? I was hoping you'd tell me. Now let's see what the cards have to say. What do you see? A man. His body is broken, but his spirit is strong. That's why it chose him. Brought him back. How is this possible? There is an ancient power that exists older than time. It is neither good nor evil. But it holds life and death in the palm of his hand. So he's an immortal then? No. This power feeds on energy. In order to continue living, he must absorb the life force of others. And he's not alone. What do you mean? Well, there is something here. Something is there with him. Something is guiding him. It's power. Can it be taken? Transferred to someone else somehow? Yes. So what you need to do is send in your strongest man to break his spirit. Then you can own his power. You know what? You don't get to do that to me. I need the answers I couldn't find here. You save my life, and then bleed all over my couch, and then disappear for not one, but two days without leaving so much as a goddamn sticky note to let me know you're still alive? Look, I can explain everything if you just calm down. And then you stroll back in here as if you have some open invitation. Look, I wasn't trying to- I'm sorry, don't let the fact that my fucking door is locked prevent you in any way from breaking into my home. Enough, all right? Look, I didn't mean to startle you, and I'm not trying to make your life complicated, but there's some things happening right now that you couldn't possibly understand. Some things I barely can comprehend myself. Try me. Poor at your boss, the guy you've been running for. I never told you that. Well, you didn't have to. He and this man not kill us, but there's somebody else. Somebody pulling the strings underneath for you to tell me everything you know about him. So you're trying to get yourself killed then? I'm not worried about that. Not anymore. 
Fine. He calls himself Testament. He controls all of Paradise City. And he's untouchable. Satisfied? You know what? Never mind. Doesn't even matter because I'm out. I'm getting as far away from this shit as I possibly can. And if you have any brains, you do the same. I can't walk away and you're not safe by yourself. He's taking way too much from the city. From you, from me. It's time somebody stop him. Why do you care? What is he taking from you? Search every inch of this place. You know, this building was built upon a church that burned to the ground during the Great Crusades. Hundreds of people were trapped inside. Innocent men, women, children died right here, on this very spot. If you listen closely enough, you can almost hear them still crying out. Help me. Help me. No one on earth is innocent, not even children. Must we engage in these senseless initiations every time we meet? Levitt is important to building lasting relationships. I mean, we are partners after all. I trust you'll do your part in finding Lazarus' opposite. It's already begun. The fortune teller was easy enough to convince, and a suitable candidate has been chosen. It's only a matter of time until his death and eventual awakening. Okay. I'll make sure to keep the path clear in my end. Now let me know before you just come by, man. I can have a lady in here. I could have been knee deep in the throes of passion, man. Just moments away from euphoria. And you guys would have ruined it for both of us. Were you? No, I was watching TV and sipping a beer, but that's not the point. All right? Not the point. It's about boundaries, bro. Boundaries. Look, man, we just need a place to crash. Lay low for a while till I figure some things out. No. 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 No, no, no. You're not pulling this shit on me again, Ray. Not unless you tell me what is going on. Until then, no dice. If you guys could just, you know, skip the foreplay and figure it out, I'm gonna make myself at home. She's making herself at home, right? She's making herself at home. What's going on here? What is she, what is she? Look, she's finishing my beer, Ray. She's finishing my, hey, thank hey, you. Hey. Thank you for that, that was my last one. Look, man, we just need to stay here for a couple of days until I end all of this for good. How was it? It was, uh, euphoric. Funny. Fun She's funny, right? Hogo, I'll give you that. Hogo, She's funny. Hogo, listen to me, okay? I need for you to focus right now. Look, a lot of people are about to die. But Pogo, I need for you to roll with me on this one, brother. Ray, I love you, man, but... I gotta be all the way in. You sure you wanna know? Dude, I got you back no matter what, but you got to clue me in. Show him. He's not going to take your word for it, so just show him. Four days ago, I was approached by a poet and his men. He knew all about me. 
knew I was familiar with the city. He needed some strong runners that could handle themselves. I turned him down, but by then he already said too much. Guess it was way too dangerous to keep me alive, I guess. Uh, okay, so what does that mean? What he said? He shot me. Ten, twelve times. At least. How'd you survive? I didn't. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're joking. You're joking. It's funny. I get it. I get, you're joking. Right? I'm serious. No, no, no. See, I, I should have known you bring the really hot girl to my place. Like, she's questionable. But she's hot. And you bring her here. More place of business. And then it's just... It's too good to be true, man. It's too good to be true. I get it. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What? What the hell? Look, um, I know this is a lot to take in right now. Hmm? I just need, I need, I need a minute. I need a minute, man. Uh... Look, I'm gonna go calm him down. But look, I need for you to stay here, all right? You know, I got somebody I gotta go pay a visit to. You expect me to stay here with fake-ass Matthew McConaughey? Look, I trust him with my life. If I didn't, I wouldn't have brought you here, all right? But it's way too dangerous for you out there, so... I need for you to just keep him safe for me. Can you do that? I expect to be compensated handsomely for my contribution to this cause. Look, whatever it is that you need, I got you. All right? Okay. Hold on. If they find out that I'm still alive, anybody that's connected to me is going to be targeted. Well, maybe they shouldn't. Maybe they shouldn't find out that you're still alive. Like, okay, there's something I've been working on. If, if you give me a few hours, give me a few hours, I have it ready. Okay, right. and and let me, you need a shirt. So. Morning, princess. Time to pay toll. Got nothing to say, asshole. Oh, it's not me you need to worry about, pretty boy. You get to talk to him. What, you not going to score me out too? You like them five-footers, huh? That's what you like? said some things I didn't like. So when did you decide to come back? I thought you was done with this place for good. Synthetic drugs. You know my sister Carol died from it. I wasn't even there for her. I didn't even know she was using it. Hey yo Mike, I'm sorry. That's why I'm here, Ray. Take out Poet and his whole crew. Well, you know Poet just runs distribution. He's not the boss. How do you know that? Let's take a ride. I'll explain more when we get there. Where we going? Pogo's place. Spot downtown. You remember. Yeah. Pogo's still boosting cars. <laughs> nah. Hey, wait. You driving? Nah. Put me. Well, you're more than welcome to ride, bitch. I'm good, man. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Suit yourself. All right. Has he said anything? Nah. Nothing since we picked him up this morning. Good. Wouldn't be much of a challenge if you had. 
He's nuts, this guy. We dragged him out of his apartment bathroom, covered in blood. Man, he was trying to remove his own skin with nothing but his fingernails. Well, it's a good job you got there when you did. I'll take it from here. Thanks, Alex. You got it, boss. Good luck. You'll need it. When was the last time you saw this man alive? Two, maybe three days ago. I didn't see him. We spoke on the phone. About anything in particular? Yeah, what he wanted for dinner. Aside from that. Did he mention anyone's name? Did he seem agitated or upset? I don't know, man. I'm not a fucking shrink. Look, what, this is all I have. So if this is all you need from me, I'll gladly be on my way and back to living my life. Forgive my manners. My name is Benjamin Pogue. I handle cases that are unique in nature. Like you and your friend here. He ain't my friend. Like I told you before, he rented a room for me for the past three months. That's it. He paid on time. We barely even spoke. That's the full extent of our relationship. So whatever you think he's into, I'm not, all right? From the looks of it, you look like you're into his supply. Synth, right? That's what you were using this morning. That's why your nails are covered in blood and you can't sit still. You must be in a tremendous amount of pain coming down from that eye, realizing what you did to yourself. I'm just trying to help you, Evan, and others like you. So just tell me who your roommate work for and you go home simple I don't know who he is or what you're even talking about you know what a polygraph is when a human being tells a lie it comes from deep within their subconscious it doesn't matter how they string the words together the body will always tell the truth it's unavoidable Polygraphs record several physiological patterns, such as blood pressure, pulse, respiration, and skin conductivity. While the subject is being asked and answers a series of questions in the belief that deceptive answers will produce a response that differs from the answers that are true. What does any of that even mean? By applying oneself. This skill, believe it or not, can be perfected over time. It's how I know you're lying to me right now. I suggest you tell me everything you know about this man and who he worked for. Otherwise, you're going to a mental institution instead of going home. Your choice. Okay. How'd you get here before me? Uber. Oh. <laughs> what took you so long? Special gift for Fogo. The stores were closed, so I got these from home. And beers, no less. I'm gonna drink them in good health, my friend. <laughs> And I see you still dressing like a young Willie Nelson, huh? See you still shopping Bass Pro? It's cool. <laughs> Mike, I thought you were done with this town for good, man. When'd you get back? Got back a couple of days ago. Where's Ember? She's just hanging out. You know, she's not dealing with everything too good right now. Yeah. Well, the whole world changed overnight. It's hard for anybody to accept. Indeed. So... Where'd you find this old salty dog at? He was in the back alley of a bar, fighting, as usual. Hey, they had it coming. <laughs> but, uh, any one of those rust buckets out backward? 
I need a ride for a while. Yeah, for the most part, they just need a few things here and there. If you want to pick the old bird, you can. See what sticks. Just winter's asleep right there in the back seat. So just try not to scare her, will you? Gotcha. You don't leave a stain on the table. <laughs> Funny. There's something I want to show you. Yeah, what's up? There it is. Took me years of work and a boatload of cash, but she's one of a kind. Who made you come up with this? Remember that accident I had about six years back? Yeah, you took that curve going about 85, right? Yeah, turned my back into a pretzel. Almost killed me. So when I got back on my feet, I decided to make something. It would protect me no matter how fast I was going. Damn. It looks aggressive. <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> it's a tri-weave fiber. So you tear it apart, the fibers, they bond back together. The inner core is a flexible Kevlar fabric. Helm is lined with it, too. It's indestructible. Look, I can't find alongside your brother, but maybe I can give you this help keep you safe. There's a bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Fogo. <laughs> you should be rested. I've rested enough. Lying there makes me feel like I'm already dead. Life. What do you think it means to them? Absolutely nothing. They truly have never lived, only suffered. Desperately hanging on to the hope of a miserable existence. Fates we should be fortunate not to share. I'd give anything to be one of them. Behold. That's why I'm here. I think I found a cure for your problem. Oh, it take a little bit more time, but I have the wheels in motion. It's not possible. I've been examined by every credible doctor in the world, and the diagnosis is always the same. There is no cure. No natural cure. Look, I can't explain everything right now. But I need you to find comfort in my words. Hey. I will never let you fade. Like our parents. How many years did we spend watching our mother just waste away? And our father just standing there. With all the resources that we had, he did nothing. Except hold her hand. And shed tears for a life not yet lost. I will not repeat the same mistakes. We won't. We won't. They were stronger than they were. Hey, I believe you can save me. I believe in you, brother. Mike? Kit Kat. Hey, what's up? Man, you've gotten big. What have you been up to? Nothing. Stuck here with my brother until I find my own place. Yeah. How's the college life? 
dead. What? You're not in school anymore? I got kicked out for setting this girl's hair on fire. You know that was stupid, right? No. You had a way out. You should have taken it. Nobody makes it out of here. And we all always come back. That's what makes us all so dark inside. But when Ray came back, he was like a new man. He even got my brother to go legit. He was always a good guy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh, well. Let's see what we can do with this baby. Hey. I can't go back, can I? No. You know what I keep thinking about? My shoes. I had some really expensive pairs of shoes at that loft, and now I can't go back to collect them. Right. I can see how this might be a little difficult to shoulder right now. But, um, it'll be over the moment I stop testing it. What if you don't make it? What if you don't come back? What will the rest of us do? Look, Mike, Pogo, and Winter, they're not just my friends, they're my family. Okay? We always protect one another, and I trust them with my life. Listen, you're my family now. And I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Um... Touching my leg. Oh, oh no, no, I, that's, that's, it's just a way that I could just reassure you that everything just, okay, it's just. I'm not mad at it, I'm just, can I get a dinner first or maybe some nice conversation? Yeah, we, we, we can go eat, we can, we can talk and have a conversation, sushi or something. <laughs> hey, 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 I got some people I want you to meet. Say, Rico, fellas, what are you guys doing here? Hey, man, I heard you could use some help. Hey, your fight is our fight, man, always. Yeah, lads. You know we couldn't let you have all the fun. It's good to see you guys, man. Oh, this is Pogo. That's Ember. And that's Winter. Oh, uh, what up? Hey, what's up? Hey. Yeah, Winter, huh? As in the coldest? Mm -hmm. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I like this. Uh-uh. <sighs> My bad, bro. It's okay. We did a little recon. Kept a low profile. Let's take the place out for three days straight. The building's two stories high. There's four entrances. It's about 20 or more guys inside. Five of them have the armored shotguns and automatics. The rest are runners, so they're not carrying. So you know the deal, boys? Let's get these gunmen before they can get a shot off. No, that place is locked down tight, too. Yeah, there's a few guards and park cars just surrounding the place. All right? Shipments all in go after 9 p.m. After that, it's pretty quiet. The building's pretty much ours for the taking. If that place goes, it'll cripple the business for good. Well, I guess that's where we headed, then. You heard them, boys. We got our marching orders. Will's up in five minutes. All right, let's go, killers. Pogo? Oh, you sure that's a good idea? Ray said to stay here. This is the safest place for you. <laughs> yeah, let's do what you're told. Remind you of those weak old chitlins, huh? Yeah, I won't be eating those anymore. Check his wallet. Looks like your suspect gave us some good information. Too bad it's a dead end. Not entirely. 
It's all here. Factories. Shipping routes, dates. All the connective tissue that holds their organization together. It's right in front of us. This is huge. We gotta call it in. No. Call in the movers. Have them take care of it. Everything else stays as is. You think this guy and those other bodies we found are all connected? Possibly. Unlike the others, this was a precision job. The other killings were more brutal, personal. But we count nothing out. Because unless I miss my guess, this is only the beginning. So much trouble out the window. We won't let nobody get no info. I could tell you what the neck was meant for. Ain't nobody tell me. Nice helmet. Hey, y'all, uh, let him do. Go. Aggressive. This is BLWC and I'm Sean Wesley. Joining me once again in studio is Robin O'Reilly. Hey Sean, thanks for having me again. Always nice to have you here with me. So Robin, the synth problem is not going away. What are you seeing? What you hearing in the streets? It's definitely not going away. One, I think we need to bring more eyes to Paradise City. I feel like nobody's looking at Paradise City. It doesn't make the news. The crime rate's kind of crazy. But on a local level, um, you know, we do have the Almighty Street Team in Bridgeport. They're kind of vigilantes, but they're helping their city. We've talked about vigilantes before. We're not necessarily fans of them, but the mayor and the city officials are just not great. Let's go, boys. Not yet. Ray will give us a signal when he's ready. Chopper man, let's just go. What's the signal? You'll know it when you hear it. You see a body fall off that goddamn rooftop. Hey, uh, you guys hear that? Sound like gunfire. Well, shit. Let's go time then, boys.
É, Vitinho é o filho, né? I'm watching my kingdom, my beautiful kingdom that I built with my own two hands burning down around me. But I am the one that makes all the tough choices. I am the one that keeps the wheels turning. And do you think that he acknowledges that? Who? Never interrupt a man's monologue. I'm sorry. Where was I? That he doesn't understand you. Right, he doesn't. And now I have this, this walking ghost decimating my distribution plants, killing off my men, and he is messy. Leaving a trail of bodies that will most assuredly lead the local PD directly to our doorsteps. Or maybe Ray Lazarus is exactly what I need. You too. Come with me. Amber. We're beginning to worry about you. Thought you were dead. I would have been if you assholes had your way. I make one mistake and you try to knock me off. Testament's decisions are based on principle alone. It's scripture time, you know that. Now our rule might be alone. Extreme, but they solely exist for your protection. They exist to keep us in line and afraid. Is that why you're here? To finish the job? Dear, you're too weak to die by my hand. Your friends, however, have made quite a mess. Not very wise. Your boss brought that upon himself. Don't you get tired of being this weapon? We are what we are. My path is set. Fate already chosen. You knew this would happen. Now they're all gonna die. And there's nothing to stop it. Now, where can I find them? I'm not gonna tell you that. Or I'll reconsider snatching the life from you. Hello, detective. Just your reason for dragging me into this shithole, is it just one? Oh, it is. A lot of your men have been found dead in the past week. You know anything about that? I know what you know, but I'm more than willing to help out in any way I can. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Looks like the buildings that were hit were doubling as manufacturing plants for scent. Maybe those plants belong to you. Oh, I own half the city, detective, so I'm sure one or two could easily be mine. But I know of no such manufacturing of any drug. Not in my establishments. I'm guessing that you do. Hmm. Maybe you pissed off the wrong guy, or maybe your old crew just wasn't cutting it enough and you decided to clean the slate. If I were killing my own man, I'd be much cleaner about it. I cut them up into little pieces, dissolve their bodies, throw the remains into the harbor, not leave them scattered around like rats to a dumpster. Now would I? Is that an admission of guilt? It's an admission of common sense. Which is more than I can say for your killers. Your killers, messy. In the city, Messi gets the kill. Killers, as you say. Plural. Huh. So you know there's more than one. No living being could have killed all those men alone and gotten away with it. Now could they? Simple logic dictates there's more than one. Look, am I being charged with anything right now? Not now. I suggest you focus your attention more on them before it's too late. I'll be in touch.
who are you supposed to be? What have you got? I doubt he's actually responsible for the murders, but he definitely has an idea for who. Whoever's gunning for him, they're working their way up the food chain. You stay close to him. Will do. Alex. Yeah? I just got a call. A tip from an anonymous source downtown. They're saying it's a massacre. Rooftop full of bodies. Who all knows about this? Just me. Let's keep it that way until we know more. Got it. A lot of talk around town about a man in a black suit on a motorcycle bringing down all the drug houses in the city. <laughs> Shit. Never would have guessed you were the guy. Where you get all of this? It's courtesy of Poet and his runners. So what am I supposed to do with it? Use it to keep your doors open. Offer a place of refuge to any lost souls that come your way. Taking from the rich assholes and giving it to the disenfranchised. I can dig it. Listen, man, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I understand why you're doing what you do. But it's nice to know that someone's out there fighting for us. Look, man, do me a favor. You watch your ass while you're out there. Pause. You know how. Be careful. I made your father a promise, Twitch. I plan on keeping it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, them boys. I'm sure you got the message. This amuses you. I've just learned that the last of our distribution plants has fallen. This time, Lazarus wasn't alone. He had help. Soldiers, no less. This vendetta has become a fucking crusade, and you seem to be completely unaffected by it. Our pipeline is dead. Production of synth is no longer possible. And if you are not willing to do anything to remedy the situation, I will. I dare pretend to make decisions for me. This is my city. You have power? You've got power because I placed it in your hands. And that power can be taken away. You interfere, you will lose. You will win. As we speak, Endless is hunting them down. And he will bring back what's left of Lazarus's body to me. <laughs> no. Your delusions will find you buried along with that so-called army of yours and any hopes you had of saving your family. All of your men will die tonight, but my men will not be among them. For when plans, future, life is in doubt, a poet gives testament to three words. I am out. to enter someone's home without saying hello, even for a ghost. I'm fascinated you can see me, dear. Such a gift. However did you acquire it? What exactly do you want from me? I've done everything you've asked. Soon you'll have your weapon, and then you can reveal your secrets to me. I keep my word. All of our knowledge and history will be yours in exchange for help securing the other. Why is he so important to you? In due time, you'll have the answers you seek. Until then, 
I keep my secrets. I just find it very unsettling that you would want such an evil man to have so much power. That's not about good and evil. It's about balance. There will never be balance. Not in this world. It's too chaotic. Mike! Ray? Ray, is that you, Ray? Ray, I got him. I got him good. I know I hurt him. You're a good old man. You softened him up for me. You brought honor to us tonight. My brother. We always were faithful. Always faithful. You avenge your brothers. Your family. Family. Carol. Mike. Mike. Lazarus, right? You look dressed for the occasion. So am I. You took the lives of my friends. And now, I'm going to take yours. Oh, I expect you to try. Before, you were weak. Like the rest of this city, a lamb to the slaughter. Look what you've become. You're a killer now, just like me. Only difference is, I embrace what I am. You do not. I fight for the innocent. To free them from men like you. Don't confuse vengeance with heroics. You think putting on a suit and a mask makes you a hero? Oh, I'm no hero. But I'm strong enough to kill you.
can't run from me. Run? Well, I'm not running. doing he's half past dead already just take what's left of his life and be done with it no no do you know how long i've been working on this you think power of this magnitude comes without cause you had me killed Death was a small price to pay for the power you now possess. You see, the problem with you, Ray, is you, you can't see past your own pain. This is bigger than Ray. The unity of opposites. In every generation, there's always been two. It's how we maintain balance. And besides, what's a few insignificant deaths along the way compared to millions? Not insignificant. Not to me. I'm done killing for you. One dead. Finish him yourself. Ray! Ray! You can just walk away, man. Ray! Come back here, Ray! Interesting outfit, Ray. I assume it's fitted with Kevlar. Which explains why you're still alive. Right. Unfortunately for you, these rounds are high velocity, which means if fired from this distance, you're dead. Don't move. I'm tired. These men were murderers and dealers. They killed hundreds of innocent people, poisoned the entire city. Took people I care about. I didn't choose this path. It chose me. I'm just doing what needs to be done, just like you. Moments from now, dozens of uniformed officers are going to swarm on this compound and arrest anyone who's still left alive, including you. So, I'm giving you till dawn. Then I'm coming for you.
In the end, we were all fighting for the same reasons. To save the soul of this city. Old enemies fall, new ones rise. But fate has a plan. And I'm not alone. There are others out there like me who believe as I do that we can turn the tide. This was only the beginning. Aiden. That's your real name, isn't it? You and I have a great deal to discuss, my friend. Mike, and the others. for hours. What is it? I know who's been committing those murders, and I think I know why. I think I know who this man is, and I know where to find him. He's not a man. Not anymore. headed downtown. Some rich dude named Pope is throwing a party out there. On the road? Nah, I gotta study. <laughs> Come on. You get straight A's, bro. You can afford to take a night off. Nah, man, I can't. My folks will kill me. I'ma just head home. Cool, man. Later. Identified image. Like a game, I got one. Like a scene when I'm on it. I spray when I fall asleep, I'm gonna make it. 
count in the morning. Count to three in the morning. On the move, I want it. Ain't the point of me turning around when I know I'm green light on it. Hit the block when I'm on it. Got the check and I'm coming. Baseline when I'm taking off like I'm 23 when I'm on it. Rising up, we have it. Take control, gotta handle this. On the point, I ain't trying to miss. Coming back like last. I made it, bet the hate that I made it. I'm a healer with the holy war, and I bet the devil can't take it. I'm a healer with the holy war, and I bet the devil can't take it. I'ma put the whole city on, even if I don't make it. I'ma do it for my people, I'ma do it for my own. We're gonna ride.